hello pile number one welcome to today's reading today we're doing how people view you or uh, how are they viewing you lately i'm going to be channeling both the messages i might start out with the general messages and then we'll do a little bit of uh, the current energy okay let's see how it goes i'm starting out with these cards we'll take a look at these ones in a bit i just want to mention that uh, a bunch of people watch my readings but they're not subscribed so if you like my videos please consider subscribing uh, i'm looking for the milestone of 10k so that's a big one for me so let's see and uh, one more thing if you like any of the cards i've lately i only mention it in pile one um, what's your favorite card in the reading so if you like one particular card let me know what's, what's your favorite card okay so let's start we have the knight of pentacles first card that came out we have the strength so you got a lot of yellow here jupiter energy and also sun you see a sun in the back we have the eight of what is this cups we have the spider okay then we have sith number eight i was already getting i don't know why eight number is prominent in this pile see here also eight i didn't even notice this and i don't know in one particular card came out and i just thought of the number eight it came to me very strongly and i didn't even notice that there's so much eight in this reading already did you get the scorpio card yeah you did get the scorpio card that is also I, lately when i see the card scorpio i think number eight Earlier it wasn't like that because it's a number of Saturn. So I used to think of numerology. But I don't know why lately 8 reminds me of Scorpio energy. Um, so also here we have, speaking of Saturn, we have old women. And we have this card. Uh, this is a new deck that I got. It's really pretty. Let me show you. This is the box. It's so pretty. And uh, for me, I love astrology. So I'm always looking for astrology decks. But I don't like anything. And this was the only one that I liked. I've been meaning to add more tarot decks to my collection, oracle decks. And it's just so hard for me to find an astrology deck that I like. So this was the one. This is the only one I like. The All the other ones I don't like. That's why I've not added them. But if you guys have any recommendations for oracle decks or anything, you're watching some other tarot reader and you notice like a nice deck, especially the smaller size decks. I love them. I don't know why, especially for oracle. So please leave your suggestions. I want to add more decks to my collection. Also, there's a Amazon uh, wish list. If anyone's uh, interested, you want to be generous, um, you want to buy me a deck, you can check out the uh, wish list. But I really want smaller decks. Those are hard to find in my wish list. There's bigger decks and uh, tarot decks, but I'm looking for more. So please, guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And here we have, see, there's a little symbol here. This is Venus and this is Capricorn. So this is Venus in Capricorn. It says convention. Also, this would make a good gift. If any of you want to give someone a gift, like a oracle deck, you should uh, get this one. It's based on Western astrology. I think most people will like it and the guidebook is really nice. And here we have, this is Jupiter in Virgo. It says patience. Though I don't agree with all of the keywords in these particular cards because I follow Vedic astrology, I don't exactly agree with the Western, uh, all of the symbology like for patience, this is not exactly how I would read it. But still, I'm going to use the deck uh, Use the deck in a way it serves its purpose because most... Uh, decks are based on western astrology i can't really do anything about it i just have to deal with it okay maybe one day i can make a vedic astrology deck but let's see sorry for rambling so much today i please i apologize guys please okay so let's see what's your energy how are people viewing you there's one thing i'm picking here lately may maybe there was like a difficult situation that pile number one you faced or uh, there's a lot of restriction, restrictive energy I'm feeling. Maybe there's a lot of pressure from your family or you come from like a big legacy or family name, something about uh, following in the footsteps of the people around you or pressure from people, family, relatives, something like this. I'm picking up. I don't know why with this part. So maybe it's current energy that I'm channeling where you face a difficulty or you're facing some sort of restriction and difficulty from the people around you. And you're trying to be resilient. That's one message I'm getting. Okay. 
but overall how are people seeing you they see you moving forward they see you being resilient standing up for what you believe in you could be someone who's um doesn't want to follow in the family's footstep you want to do something different okay and you're very patient also with this patience energy it's like you doing small little you're taking small steps because knight of pentacles is also a small incremental um success or like you build up on things over time so this is your energy where you've been working very hard on something for a while even the spider is the same energy spider is making the web working hard on it spider is also about material things money accumulation over time so putting the hard work in and moving forward taking small steps where people don't even notice you it's kind of like reminding me of that story where we have the bunny and the turtle right where the bunny is expected to win but the turtle just keeps on moving keeps on moving eventually the turtle wins the race it's giving me that energy where people are not even noticing but you're working very hard in the background okay you're very hard working people some people might not even notice you pile number 1 there's this energy i'm picking with this particular pile i've never i don't think i've ever gotten this sort of a message before but you are like someone who people don't pay attention to a whole lot they're like okay whatever this person's i don't want to say it like in a bad way or like put you down it's just people might um count you out or um not like give you your due respect or not think too highly of you but you're always there you're always working hard you're consistent you're dependable you're responsible you're also mature for your age with this old women energy it's like you don't ruffle too many feathers you're not very loud or bright you're a little subdued and you're also someone who's you know again that energy of uh, people who come from like a legacy or a, like a big family name who behave themselves who don't you know speak too loud and they're slightly more quiet reserved that sort of energy i'm picking here it's like you're restricted by the people it's almost as if you're the lion who's being restricted here or you're just waiting for your right time or you're just blossoming there's um some momentum that i'm picking up here like something is shifting something is moving so you're building on something it's slow moving energy but it's coming together it's fructifying you're someone who's not hit their prime so you're just um, working towards a goal that's what i'm getting and you're building you're accumulating also you're learning skills you're growing as a person you're uh, maturing okay you could also be really into reading learning this this uh, energy i'm picking up where you're uh, always improving yourself somehow this uh, virgo energy is also person who can you know just in general with virgo energy it can sometimes uh, talk about criticism so you could be at the end of uh, receiving some criticism from people with sith this can also talk about uh, cutting someone off okay so one message i'm getting maybe a person who had to kind of let go of their childhood somehow or they had uh, responsibilities very early in their life okay so people see you as someone who's just working who's doing their thing and uh, i'm not picking up like this person who's very expressive i'm not getting that energy here it's almost as if you're burdened by certain things by uh, responsibilities something like this it's like you cannot show your fun child like quality okay this is how people view you they might see you as uh, someone who's slightly gloomy moody or like a hard worker person who's uh, restricted and like you hold back you don't share a whole lot you could also uh, sometimes i've seen with jupiter in virgo person can make friends with the wrong people also maybe you associate with certain friends that uh, forms like a group uh, opinion that people have of you they feel like okay you're just like the group but you're different okay that's one thing i'm getting with the uh, jupiter in virgo also people need to be careful with taking on too many debts that's one message i always get a person who's living on credit they can uh, sometimes trust the wrong people they can uh, receive setbacks so maybe this can talk about a uh, heartbreak you know i see the cups that are broken and the mountain represents a challenge so maybe trusting the wrong people is something you've done 
but lately what i'm seeing okay what is the lately people are noticing about you they see you building they see you growing they see you also maybe being a little mysterious about the things that are happening in your life so you might not be sharing everything you are also in this energy where you'll cut people off okay and also defensive with this ga uh, this thing up i don't know what it's called uh but usually we don't see any weapons and such when i see knight of pentacles but in this one i'm i feel like you're being a little defensive it's like things are coming out in your favor and now you're starting to find your voice you're speaking up a little bit and you're maturing also maybe earlier you were more young so people would just count you out and um they'll say you're being disrespectful or something like this but now as you're maturing you're growing old you feel like you can say things you can stand up for yourself okay so maybe people mooching off of you in the past but now you're taking a stand okay that's one more thing i'm getting with venus and saturn energy it also gives me maybe earning more money through work work is getting better for you uh, overall i'm getting also a workaholic sort of vibe with this pile where a person is dedicated they're hard working and there's something that they're working towards so this is how people view you i'm overall i'm not getting like tons and tons of opinion of people usually with these uh, sort of readings i always get this energy 11 11 on the uh, timer i always get this energy where there's a lot of opinions lots of different uh, messages coming through with this pile it's almost as if people don't even pay attention or they're not uh, for whatever reason you're not in the public eye or you could have this energy where you don't share a lot you're not the most uh, social person or you just keep quiet you lay low you keep a low profile you know that's what i'm getting uh, usually it's a lot of messages but with this pile it's almost as if people are not paying attention or you're hiding you're trying to get out of uh, people's eye sight or something so let me know if this resonates let's keep going we have the father here so see there's this duality there's the real side of you that you don't show and then this cold side that you do show this one so similar to this card and this yellow side is so similar to these cards that have come out so there's a duality here i feel like again depends how much this resonates with you but obviously there's a part of you that you kind of hiding and again i'm getting the responsibility because the father archetype is all about being responsible for other people putting other people's before yourself and again that family legacy name here also i see sons influence coming in so maybe your father has a strong influence on you or something about the father coming through or you having to be uh, the masculine figure in your life or other people maybe missing a masculine figure in your life to depend upon that's why you had to kind of take on this role in your life so some people might also see you as more of a masculine sort of a person if you're a girl picking this pile they see this cold and harsh side of yours but they also see that um there's a reason for it okay let's keep going we have scorpio in the fourth house okay scorpio energy is strong so again being a little mysterious not the most social you're a little more intimidating as well i'm feeling you could be intimidating pile number 1 fourth house you know this is also a difficult sort of energy because scorpio is a heavy energy and fourth house is naturally connected to cancer which is uh, our emotional ful fulfillment also it's more soft gentle sort of energy so here we have scorpio so i feel like maybe some trouble at home or childhood could have been difficult for you it maybe shaped you as the person that you are okay you could also be someone living far away from family or there's there's like a distance between you and the family perhaps the reading is going in like a completely different direction than i thought it would so how people see you they see you as someone who's closed off especially when it comes to your emotions scorpio is the dark energy it's things that we hide is mysterious um and fourth house is our emotions our emotional side so you kind of hide that away you could also be someone who doesn't like having people over at your house like you would always say let's go out but don't come over at my house very few people you invite in your house or you could be someone living with your parents in this this uh, structure at your home you know here also we see like a baby that's stuck within the four walls so it's like you're restricted by people this could be home energy this can be home environment this can be family okay let's keep going we have ganesh here 
Lord Ganesha. So I always associate him with this energy of uh, learning, growing, evolving skills. Okay. So earlier I was getting this message. Second thing, Ganesha is also about. Uh, he is the Lord or the God that we pray to for removing the obstacles. So see. There's a lot of obstacles in your life, pile number one, and now you're slowly removing them. I think you're um, somewhere you're leveling up, you're uh, evolving and growing. So this is some energy people might notice about you. This is more so, again, current energy where things are working out in your favor and uh, you're growing somehow. And whatever challenges you have, you're kind of removing them slowly and steadily. Okay, you're also intelligent. People notice that you get stuff done. No matter what people give you, whatever your job, whatever uh, situation you face in your life, you're someone who gets stuff done. Okay, people can count on you. That's one more energy. Uh, some of you could also have writing skills. There could be this interest in writing, reading, something about that also I'm seeing here. You could have a way with words, you know. People view you as someone intelligent, People view you as a person who's a hard worker and who gets stuff done. You're very committed to your work and you're dependable. Here also we have, I think this is the three of wands, take the lead. And we have resolving conflict, number 26. Let's just keep it here. So you're someone who's good at resolving conflict uh, and we did get this energy of... Um, Virgo, which is all about conflicts, criticism, competition, having enemies, fighting with other people. And Jupiter being there, uh, you bring wisdom there. So you could have a career, pile number one, where you resolve people's conflict. This could be like a counselor of some kind, even um, maybe like an astrologer if you're into occult and stuff like that, because we did have Scorpio energy. But whatever the case is, you heal people. You bring some solace, you bring a solution to other people. Yeah, this was the energy I was getting earlier. You know what? Yeah, this card makes sense. I think it it's a good way to sum up this reading where you bring some sort of resolution to other people's conflicts. It's also because you have that like life experience as well. Because you have this uh, old women energy, whether you're old or not, doesn't matter. It, you have this wisdom. You know, we in my culture, we associate experience with white hair or gray hair. So a person who's lived their life they have some experience under their belt because you've been through some difficult situations difficult experiences growing up i think you've um, learned a lot from that and you channel channel that in your life and then you bring wisdom and resolution to other people's conflict so you could definitely have a job that's connected to Virgo energy or um, just in general something to do with helping people solving issues solving conflicts stuff like that okay and uh, you could also be someone who can bring people together. Some of you, maybe you have uh, Uttara Falguni placements or Falguni placements in general. But overall, just this energy of bringing people together, you're good at that. Yeah. Removing people's obstacles, let's say in relationships people are struggling, you could do counseling of some sort or just guidance or something about healing people, healing and helping other people. You're good at that. So people come to you for advice. People see you as a problem solver. And uh, people might take your criticism or uh, your advice also more seriously as compared to the average person. Okay. And there's this energy lately that I'm feeling with you, pile number one. Like you're taking some sort of lead or you're tasting some sort of success. There's some things that are happening in your favor and things are starting to work out. So overall, this is good energy. I think a good time period is coming up for you. This could be like divine timing or something that's happening in, happening in your life that's positive. So yeah, and also maybe money also growing because this card is connected to material energy abundance. This is also earth element. Naturally, we connect earth, uh, you know, what are the zodiac signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. These are the ones that we associate with money. Okay, so money is coming through. Here also we have Capricorn energy and we have Virgo, right? So strong. I think money is looking good for you. And some of you could have these placements like uh, Scorpio in fourth, maybe Scorpio, Ascendant, Moon in Scorpio. Leo energy is also here. Then obviously you could have uh, Jupiter in Virgo, Venus in Capricorn or just like make, uh, make some placements up. But these are the 
zodiac signs and planets that are coming through so let me know if this reading resonated with you or not and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys support the channel J click on the join button if you want to become a member and if anyone wants to book a reading with me and you want the reading in this month you should book right away because then i think the delivery time will change and I'll get the reading done next month so if anyone really wants a reading and you want it quick consider booking it right now that's it thank you for watching bye guys hello pile number two welcome to today's reading today we're doing how do people view you or how are they viewing you lately this is going to include a little bit more of the current or uh, recent energy that you're channeling okay this is how we're doing the reading i'm starting out with these cards we'll take a look at the other ones in a bit one more thing please subscribe if you haven't already i'm really looking to get to 10k and then maybe also i can do like a free reading giveaway or something let's see how it goes i'm not sure but uh, yeah also if anyone wants to book a reading with me you want the reading soon um, if you book right now i can do it in this month otherwise it's gonna get moved to september so if you really want a quick reading uh, you should book right away okay otherwise you'll have to wait a little bit so let's start you got the chariot so cancer energy is here we have aries energy with the emperor okay i almost drop those masculine energy right off the bat we have dragonfly this gives me rahu always air element we have hermit so virgo with this turtle reminds me of a card that i have in a different tarot deck which is king of pentacles we have the fox here number 11 breaks down to two the numbers could be significant you can pay attention to them we also have frivolity with this butterfly and also this new deck that i got i'm really excited about using this because there's not a lot of astrology decks out there that i like uh, most of them i don't like and i'm not really keen on buying them this was the only one that i was interested in let me show you the box this is the deck if a bunch of people ask me what decks i use but the, i use so many that it's hard for me to link so um, if anyone wants to know any particular deck always leave me timestamps so i'll let you know but this is a good one if you want to gift a deck to someone this is a good one to get because uh, it has a lot of cards and it's based on astrology the guidebook is really good and it's based on western astrology for me it sucks obviously that i have to deal with uh, using western astrology the messages kind of change even with most of these like uh, moon in Sagittarius I wouldn't think of optimism as a first thing okay I would think of travel actually person who likes to travel because moon is about travel and Jupiter ninth house energy is also this is Sagittarius energy it's about movement and long distance travel so I have my own uh, meanings I'm gonna use it I like the deck but it, it's tough that I don't get a deck of my own choice maybe I can make one in future for Vedic astrology or something but yeah and right now I'm just using western astrology decks also if anyone wants to be kind enough to get me a deck um, my Amazon wish list is down below if anyone wants to get me a deck otherwise it's fine I'm just mentioning it also if you guys ever watch other readers and you notice like a nice deck especially Oracle that's smaller in size that's like my up my alley exactly the kind of stuff that I like so let me know i'll buy myself okay so if you find a deck that's really nice let me know i'm looking for more decks to add to my collection let's start the reading sorry for rambling today i'm rambling okay so i usually don't do that but anyway um we have chariot we have emperor i'm getting this strong energy of pile number two where you have a strong persona okay you're someone also i feel like there's two messages i'm getting very strongly first is you have a strong aura you have a strong personality you're not someone who would easily get influenced by other people people are influenced by you and second message i'm getting is you enjoy you definitely have this streak of having fun like uh, marching to your own beat that sort of energy i'm getting here or if you don't resonate with this this is the energy you could be stepping into lately because with chariot it definitely talks about movement forward movement direction in life also with hermit it can talk about illumination enlightenment so something happened uh, you had some sort of a realization epiphany or a change came into your life some event happened or this came about within yourself where you made a shift or you made a change this is what i'm getting emperor is also taking charge 
okay taking charge maybe earlier you were just living in default mode or you were living your life on other people's term or something there was a different energy in the past but now you've kind of taken the reins taken the reins okay your life and you've made some decisions you made some choices and you're living life in a different way there's some change that has happened here okay because even rahu can talk about new beginnings chariot is about forward movement emperor is about taking charge and making some changes making some moves frivolity this also makes me feel like movement travel you know enjoying yourself having a good time having fun not caring about other people's opinion not caring about other people's judgment this is how you're living your life and people are noticing a change in you they notice a shift in your energy they see that you don't care about their opinion anymore okay you might also like piss people off nowadays you'll call them out with fox it can talk about a person who's like acting like an enemy right so you're giving this energy even sixth house is about not sixth house but this is virgo energy this is virgo this is venus in virgo right it's venus debilitated i'll talk about venus debilitated in a bit but let's just talk about virgo first virgo is about criticism so you're giving criticism to other people you're standing up for yourself emperor is the fighter the warrior the king you know and fox is also about where you um, not uh, you're not trusting people so the people who are the foxes in your life they feel a bit of this pushback from you also a lot of people feel like they cannot read you you're um being like a mysterious sort of a person not mysterious in the sense that you're hiding something but they're like wow this person has changed up i don't know what to make of them this is the dragonfly energy rahu energy of i cannot read this person i don't know their intentions okay this is what i'm getting you're speaking up more you're uh, standing up for yourself you're not being a pushover anymore this is the energy i'm picking up here people are noticing they cannot mess with you and a lot of the bad people they're noticing that okay maybe i cannot play the games i used to play with pile number 2 anymore and the other people who actually do like you they're enjoying they were having a good time they're noticing a glow up there's so many butterfly imagery in this car, uh, in these cards i think i had some in the we have more here i don't know but i noticed a lot of butterflies coming out for you see here butterflies which is about transformation even dragonfly is kind of like in the same realm so this is first of all showing a glow up showing like a confidence boost that you've received it's not just glow up in terms of look glow up is not just looks by the way guys it's your energy okay it's your confidence so confidence has come in and you're having a good time butterflies i also associate with having fun because when you look at a butterfly you see the colors and it's just such a nice feeling also so you are enjoying yourself people are enjoying with you they like spending time with you you are good company maybe earlier you were in a bad zone with hermit you were anti social and you were not feeling your best you were slightly moody and kind of like down down trodden now you're more uplifted you're fun you're having you're going out you're being social you're enjoying yourself you're indulging in the things and activities that you enjoy this is also making you glow from the out uh, from the within okay there's some structure a uh, structure in your life maybe stuff happening you're seeing some forward movement in certain areas of your life and you're also um stepping more into your masculine energy pile number 2 you're taking charge okay here also i'm drawn towards even though it's talking about obviously uh water energy i don't know why water is here because we have air here but this is like downward triangle is water but also in general um triangle is associated with mars energy because we have geometry also in astrology different shapes are connected with different planets so the triangle is uh, mars energy so more masculine energy here again and also i think one change you've made is you'll treat people the way they treat you because we also have this card here mirror which again gives me rahu energy and again we see like it's not exact triangle i don't know what you would call it but i'll take it as a triangle so this is about mirroring back people so if they're nice to you you'll be nice back if they um rude towards you you'll be rude back so there's this shift you've made okay and you've also maybe noticed that certain people are not for you they're against you with the foxes maybe you singled them out you've had some realization also it says right here discrimination so you're treating people differently 
optimism also this shows forward momentum uh, moving towards better things brighter things making better connections having better friendships having bet- uh, more fun in your life so you're enjoying your feeling positive okay this is how you're coming across to people also one more thing with venus debilitated let me come back to this venus debilitated shows a person who has a lot of standards who have a lot of it's like a big list list of traits you have to meet in order for the person to accept you so i think you're having more discrimination when it comes to your love life also maybe there have been some setbacks in your love life where you've dated certain people who were not right for you and you didn't have the kind of experiences you were looking for so now you've kind of cut people off you're not engaging with those people anymore maybe you're also taking some time out to be single and enjoy your life that's one message another message i'm getting is now you have high standards you're going to be slightly more tough on your choices because venus in virgo virgo is about being very particular about things it's having a long list it's also about criticism where you critique people you judge them in a way so you judge okay is this person worthy of spending time with so now you're being very methodical because virgo is ruled by mercury mercury is all about mental energy intellect uh, you, you know using your intellect to pick the right people for you and venus is love relationships so what are the people you are engaging with accepting into your life so you're putting high standards there you're pu- putting up boundaries you're looking to have fun also maybe your priorities also have changed when it comes to love maybe earlier you were looking for certain other things now those priorities have also changed okay but venus in virgo naturally is a person who looks really good who dresses really nice they put this amazing front um the external image is uh, something they work on okay these are the per- people who would have like a big makeup collection big perfume collection that sort of energy uh, virgo in no uh, debilitated virgo which is sorry debilitated venus which is venus in virgo except for um naturally i've seen people who are you would think that venus is debilitated person won't have money they won't be good looking they won't dress nice but it's the exact opposite it's, it's like the person needs all, all of that a lot of that so they have like big collections they always dress nice they're very hard on themselves to look always put together okay whereas venus in pisces which is exalted venus is where people might just let go they just wear whatever and they just feel good about themselves so now this some thing is lacking that's why you kind of overcompensate also in a way so that's the energy of uh, venus in virgo and just having boundaries having standards having a lot of uh, desires and needs you meet the criteria okay we're good okay and also mirror you're mirroring back you're also confusing people because mirror makes me again makes me think of rao rao is all about confusion so a lot of people seeing uh like you've changed up your energy has changed because we have butterfly butterfly is about transformation something has changed you as a person have changed and there's this new energy rahu is about new energy and rahu is also about confusion so people are confused they don't know how to perceive you anymore okay let's keep going i hope that wasn't like too convoluted guys you can follow um so we have moon and saturn again person is being closed off they're not showing their emotions as much being very professional also with certain people like being very professional at your work place um when you talk to your friends you're not the most um expressive there's something about your expression that is toned down it's become a little dry with saturn you want to be taken seriously or maybe you also don't have time anymore you're focusing more on your work saturn is work dedication hard work being consistent having discipline in your life you may be are also being hard on yourself in terms of some of you could be dieting for sure moon and saturn is there's no such combination for <laughs> dieting but if i had to come up with a con- uh, combination for dieting it would be moon and saturn because moon is food saturn is restriction it's uh, also i've noticed when uh saturn goes over your second house uh at least it happened with me people tend to diet a little bit more or i i'm not into dieting by the way i'm just saying because i'm religious we also have a uh, fasting that's religious fasting so i did that not for dieting or anything and that's not something uh like i want to promote or anything do what's right for you okay um, but yeah saturn restricts the food so people tend to start fasting or dieting and stuff like that um it's also more of like a moist sort of a planet and saturn is dry so it kind of sucks 
uh, sucks the planet up or makes the planet dry. So Moon and Saturn can uh, talk about creating restrictions and creating rules for yourself. You know, being very hard on yourself. Also not expressing your emotions. Moon is emotions. And having that dry delivery, dry approach, uh, even a drier sense of humor. This is how you're coming off to people where you're... I think you're also trying to cut people off or uh, phase them out of your life. You're not giving yourself, uh, like, giving them too much of your time and space. And maybe some of you could also be looking to find new friends, new connections, or some changes you're making in your overall life and the people that, uh, relationships that you do have in your life. There's some shift here. You're trying to shake things up. Here we have uh, the nine of pentacles, if I'm not wrong. Well-deserved reward. We see a person who's rising up. See, you're rising up. You're also, uh, you know, it always reminds me of it's lonely at the top person standing by themselves. So again, or maybe a lot of people are come, getting out of your life. You're pushing them out, something like this. We also see this imagery of like a compass. You're finding yourself. This is also speaking about maybe some movement or change. Some of you could have moved to a different city. You're planning a move or you're making major changes in your life, especially with the people in your life as well. So compass is finding yourself, finding uh, where you belong, who you belong with. And also you're tasting some success, like I said earlier also. Like things are working out in your favor, which is nice. It's good energy, pile number two. And all the changes you're making are good for you, especially long-term changes you're trying to make. And this is something maybe you've thought about a lot. With Hermit, it's about contemplation, something you've really put um, some thought behind, okay? And movement, some movement, maybe you're traveling more or some shift has happened in your work somehow, okay? And receiving some success, re recognition, rewards, Definitely, I'm seeing that for you. We have Satya here, which is honesty. It, it means the truth. A person is being more honest and truthful. So again, whether it hurts other people or not, you're being more honest. You're being more blunt. And you're also finding your own truth. Okay, is this person nice to me? Is this a person I consider a friend? Then why is this person in my life? Okay, so you're um, facing some harsh truths also. Maybe you've made to feel or face certain harsh truths in the past and now you've realized that you've accepted it and you, now you're making some changes you're incorporating that into your life okay being more honest with yourself with other people being more blunt okay here we have spiritual maturity number 34 the numbers could be significant pay uh, pay attention to them we have nine here we have six nine nine is repeating we have seven this is four this is nine again Lots of nines, guys. Three and four. Okay, seven and nines. Nine is the number we associate with Mars. Seven is Ketu, which is cutting. South node of the moon. Okay. Anyway, we have 11. I forgot that one. Um, and I don't know. I can't add so much. Uh, this is about moving up in life again. Here we have two cards, which is about forward movement. Here also I see a couple. So maybe some of you are looking to settle down, looking to date and maybe invest more time into relationships and love instead of maybe friendships or certain other activities. It's like you feel like, okay, I, I want a partner. So I'm going to make some changes in order to get a partner. This could also be your thought process. You're actively trying to make things happen in your life when it comes to your love or your career. Okay. So certain areas you're investing more into and other areas you're not investing as much time and effort anymore. Major changes. This is also Ketu energy, which is about cutting people off, making changes. This can also talk about travel as well. Maybe being more spiritual, having some spiritual practices. This can also talk about travel. Maybe you went to a place and, uh, you know, sometimes it does happen when we go for like a far away place. Um, I don't know sometimes it does happen when we go to like a certain place we connect with the energy of the place and um, we receive downloads and some ideas and some ep epiphanies come through and then we make major changes once we come back from that vacation or place so it can definitely have an impact on you because um, when we talk about remedies the earth element when we're trying to do remedies for the earth element it's about travel so we go to a different land okay and then we see material changes happen in our life. With water element or remedies related to water, uh, we feel it from the inside. Whereas with earth, it's material. 
things that actually that materialize so it's seen externally that's why uh, some changes could be seen externally with you pile number two okay as this is happening you could also be evolving becoming more spiritual meditating a little bit more as well it's giving me hermit energy here as well okay so this was the reading for you some of you could have these placements like moon in uh, capricorn or aquarius moon sat in conjunction or maybe some of you are going through sade sati which is the seven and a half uh, year period where saturn is transiting the house before moon the uh, over moon and the house after where your moon is sitting in your natal chart so it can be a difficult period but it also a period where we uh, mature a little bit more in our life okay we have some setbacks but we can also um, prosper see here also we have this energy of uh, being elevated okay so this was a reading for you pile number two let me know if this resonated or not and if you want to support the channel consider becoming a member click on the join button and yeah if you want to book a reading you want it soon then book it right away and thank you for watching bye guys hello pile number three welcome to today's reading today we're doing how do people view you but i'm trying to channel more of the recent energy like current energy or lately what you've been feeling and how people are viewing you recently so we'll channel that energy let's see how it goes i'm starting out with these cards we'll take a look at these ones in a bit and one more thing I want to say firstly, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you watch my videos regularly, please consider subscribing so that I get to 10k. It's a milestone that I'm chasing right now. And um, one more thing I wanted to say was, uh, actually I can't remember it now, but there was one more thing I wanted to say. Anyway, it might come back to me. Uh, let's start the reading. So these are some of the cards. That came out for you we have the moon the lighting is not great in this particular pile so guys please don't mind we have the moon we have this oh wait star maybe this is what i was forgetting i need to find a crystal okay let's just choose this one we have the star okay then we have the fool tarantula it's funny usually i use these two decks one is a animal when it's a tarot uh, but usually i don't get like same background but we got the same lines with these two tarantula and the fool so that is really nice it's almost as if they've come out from the same deck right but no these are different and the imagery does vary so this is nice how it's come out we have clover number 33 adds to six which is the number of venus and let me just show you this one first we have scholar okay and then i bought this new deck which i'm so excited about new astrology deck that i've uh, got let me show you the deck this is what it looks like if you're interested in getting it also i think this would make a great gift if anyone wants to gift someone an astrology deck i would suggest go with this one because the guidebook is really really good and i like the imagery on it and you get a lot of different cards as well so this would make a great gift i've been looking for more astrology decks to add to my collection but i had to stick with this one that i always use this one you know it's called the astro something astro deck i can't remember but because i've been using it so long that it becomes tiresome right so i wanted to add more but it's so hard to find decks that i like i don't like any of the astrology decks out there this is the only one i liked so i got this one even though it's based on western astrology so some of the keywords i don't agree with i don't resonate with them but i'll make use of this one i'm really excited about using it so i hope it works out and it sucks that uh, you know we don't have any vedic astrology or sidereal astrology decks so hopefully one day i can make one but till then i just i'll make do with this one by the way if any of you guys have any suggestions for me you watch other readers and you notice the different decks that you, that they're using if you find something interesting please let me know because i want to buy more oracle decks especially the smaller sized ones like i have right here these are all small decks these are not your regular oracle decks they are much bigger like this sort of a size these are the regular decks and we have more variety uh in these decks smaller ones are harder to find so if you have any suggestions let me know 
Also, uh, check out the Amazon wish list that I have linked. If anyone wants to buy me a deck, um, out of generosity, you don't have to do it. But if anyone's interested, you can check out my Amazon wish list. It is uh, listed down below. Uh, usually, it's the bigger decks there. But anyway, let's start. You got publicity, which is Jupiter. This is a sign of Jupiter in Leo. This is a nice card, auspicious card. We have Mars in Taurus. We also have the numbers associated with the zodiac sign. So this is Mars in Taurus. And we have Romance, which is a nice one. We have Venus in Taurus. So, oh crap. <laughs> Mars and Venus conjunction in Taurus, that's tough. But anyway, we'll talk about it. Uh, it reminds me of a particular person that I used to know. And that person had a Mars Venus uh, conjunct in Taurus and it was a planetary war. They were in the same degree. So yeah, reminds me of that. But anyway, let's start your reading pile number three. Sorry for rambling. Please don't mind. I usually don't ramble. So I hope you guys uh, won't mind. So in this card, first of all, I was I noticed that we have two cards that are associated with the night time. Okay, which is was very stark. Uh, difference from the first two piles this is more dark energy it's more nighttime energy it's more feminine energy it's more about what's going on in the inside okay so we have the moon and the star what i'm seeing here pile number three you could be facing a situation in your life even the tarantula card i just was reading the guidebook it's fire energy it said being at a crossroad having to make a decision in your life and we have the full energy which is starting fresh starting new Okay, so there could be a situation in your life right now where you have to make a big change, you have to make a big decision, or you could be in a period of transition, pile number three. People are also noticing that you're someone who's a little nervous, a little timid, or you're feeling overwhelmed, something about you, your energy, where you feel like, okay, how is this person going to face this situation? How will they rise to the top? Or uh, how will they come out on the other end? So there's a bit of maybe some of uh, the haters or people who don't like you. They're just waiting for you to falter. Making, just waiting to make fun of your decision or something like this. And the people who support you, they're a little nervous about you. They're a little worried about you. That's like one specific message that's coming through for pile number three. Um, other thing, major shift, major change about to come. And... Uh, Fire energy is also about dynamic forward uh, energy where you take a decision. So I feel like some of you are feeling very confident about it, even though uh, it's a big risk that you're taking with this moon. And we see this lobster coming out of the water, about to walk this path with the wolves barking at the full moon, which is funny. Yesterday was the full moon. It was supposed to be the blue moon. And we have all this blue imagery also. So I think this is divine timing. This is right alignment for you, pile number three. Wow, I didn't even think of that crazy i love the synchronicity yesterday it was the blue moon and we have the full moon so i'm doing this reading you're going to be watching it and i think a lot of people might resonate with having to make some major changes having to or being nervous about something in your life where you're nervous you're starting something new you're taking a risk something about risk taking is also coming out very strongly this could even be about money, this could be about your career, it could be about studies or moving to a different city or something about movement or travel. But moon is definitely associated with travel, emotions and what do you call it? Did I say money? Did I say money already? Travel, money, emotions, movement. Okay, one of those are... Uh, I'm also drawn towards the towers. So you're afraid if you'll have like a tower moment. I think you're depending on on someone as well. Maybe you're starting a new relationship also, pile number three. Or you could have been someone who's been single for a long time. Or maybe you've never dated and now you're stepping into the dating pool. Or some of you, uh, you've not had strong feelings for someone for a while and now you're starting to catch feelings for someone you're feeling nervous about it some of you have never dated and you feel like okay it's time for me to date i have to take this big uh, leap of faith i have to take this jump something about that is also coming through where you're opening yourself up to love opening yourself up to uh, these new experiences that you've never had before and you're scared 
but i think it's going to be good for you because you got the clover first of all we have the number 3 which in itself is uh, the number of jupiter which is about blessings getting blessings and also it adds to 6 which is venus both benefic planets uh jupiter and venus are the two planets that give blessings saturn and mars are the ones that are malefic so those are slightly more restrictive and they give challenges so we have positive energy 6 6 the number 6 also adds to venus which is love and relationships so blessings there you got the clover this is positive we have scholar so some of you um maybe it's about studies it's about your work maybe you're moving uh you're also doing some research you're looking at all the different options uh doing all, like all sort of research before you make the decision so you want to make the right decision i'm getting that strongly with star also it uh, uh, shows me that it's divinely blessed star is about hope also it's about faith also so um whatever decision you're making you have faith on it okay so let's talk about these cards then i'll kind of sum it together and we'll uh, take a look at the other cards here we have so this is why i was getting that feeling of uh, love and romance also because we do have romance and uh, we have taurus energy here twice and uh, Venus is the divine feminine Mars is the divine masculine so two people coming together itself we have Mars and Venus in Taurus Taurus is about uh, our finances it's about can be about love also our assets money so this can overall i think bunch of people picking this pile were maybe you're making multiple changes also pile number 3 because a lot of the times when i get client bookings for readings they say uh give me like a relationship reading give me a career reading so it's both the things they're making changes in both the areas in the life so some of you could be uh making major moves in your career but also looking for love attracting love into your life sometimes also what happens is when we find the love we start dating the venus gets activated and it also brings more blessings and abundance in our life it brings more money i've noticed that especially people who settle down get married the venus gets activated and they um, make a lot of money and it's a blessed time in their life so overall two planets coming together in the sign of taurus tells me a uh, venus energy is quite active uh, some of you could have prominent planets in taurus right now jupiter is going through taurus so a lot of people new beginnings happening especially at workplace in work in money in uh, different career future endeavors then romance also lots of people starting dating also scorpio ascendants could have started dating um in the last couple of months we have publicity so you're getting fame you're getting famous people are paying you attention people are drawn towards you so this is can be both about it says publicity okay jupiter in leo leo is about fifth house romance so new romances major romance energy in this pile compared to the other two some themes around love and relationship happening some people feel like you're being mysterious not sharing your love life people are viewing you as a person they want to date people are feeling a lot of attraction towards you they're drawn towards you i see stars here i will not pull up this card i have stars here and then stars repeating here okay so overall how do people view pile number 3 they view you as a person they want to date a lot of people are interested in you a lot of people are giving you attention publicity is about popularity okay and leo is connected to fifth house fifth house is connected to learning so some of you are thinking about education college degree stuff like that then it's also about love and romance like i said uh there's some travel and movement you have to make so you're worried about that how will i gel up with new people in that different city stuff like that lots of people maybe majorly uh people will be picking pile number 3 because the message is very um multiple messages coming through compared to pile number 1 which was very specific and i felt like maybe very few people might might pick pile number 1 and this is the exact opposite where i'm picking up multiple messages some will resonate more with the romance side others will resonate more with the studying moving all of that okay you are in some sort of transition period uh, some new thing is starting some change is happening and you are uh, taking some sort of a risk and it's a new beginning you're feeling nervous about it this is how people are perceiving you they see you making major changes okay there's also some dis- defensiveness some of you are uh, maybe some people don't appre- approve of the person you're dating okay but you don't care you're being defensive over the person that you love 
so some gossip also about your love life some people want to know more you're not sharing enough some people are not impressed by the partner that you have they don't understand why you're dating this person so some uh, something about that as well some of you could having be might also be experiencing issues with your partner maybe and this can also be a combination for passion so some new thing that you're starting maybe a hobby or career or work where you feel very fa- passionately about it and you're very excited for it so that passionate energy is also coming through okay here we have the forest okay so forest again makes me think of um first of all transition period when you're in the thick of it so you're a little lost you're a little overwhelmed you feel very small so major things happening in your life secondly it's about navigating also through the forest it's also about a transition period that i was getting earlier adventure is another word that's coming to me adventure it's like a major thing new event that's happening and you're kind of lost but you're also excited it's that energy where you're exploring things exploring your options okay we also have 143 on the timer as i was looking if you know 143 let me know what that means we have sun in 10th which is uh, midday which is when sun is the strongest it's again giving me the same uh, energy as this card publicity which is about when the sun is bright sun is about fame when people and also sunlight so when a person it's think of the spotlight when it's on a person there could be like 100 people in the room but you look at the person in the spotlight that's this energy sun in 10th when sun is the brightest sunlight is strong person has a strong sun it's about fame okay who's uh, in the limelight it's you pile number 3 so a major event or major themes will be happening in your life major events happening important moments happening in your life okay and getting a lot of attention it's a good time to date in general some of you could be getting a lot of attention from different people which is making you open up to the idea of dating a little bit more okay some of you maybe you had a heartbreak in the past i have this card here eight of cups moving on so maybe you were stuck on something from the past and now you're uh, letting it rest you're moving on and you're opening yourself up to dating again meeting new people having more experiences something along those lines sun in 10th is also amazing for work and career for fame abundance and uh, it's overall a blessed time period for you that's coming up we also have intimacy again so there are two major messages coming through career related where stuff is happening in your life in your career and also love love and relationships where you're connecting with someone or uh, you are finding options where you are opening up to love something about this we have pitta okay this is more of like a ayurveda concept pitta is about the fiery dosh so it's fire element so things happening dynamic energy i also see this uh, like mirror sort of a image where you are finding someone opposites attract that sort of energy also i'm seeing hot and cold so that fiery uh, chemistry sparks you might be meeting someone uh, i'm also getting with intimacy it's not just about relationship it's about a uh, knowing someone on an intimate level again which is about the moon so when you become vulnerable you share um your vulnerability with people you're opening yourself up um for rejection or even hurt so maybe some of you were closed off for a long time in your life and now you're opening up again where you're open to love you're open to meeting new people making new friends or having new experiences maybe life was stagnant earlier or you were not in a good phase or or uh, you were hurt by certain people you had some setbacks heartbreaks some betrayals and uh, you've kind of let it rest and you moved on from that now okay i'm drawn towards the footsteps it's also the footsteps are also eight which makes me it reminds me of scorpio energy right where you um scorpio is about can be about major changes also it it can be a bit heavy dark energy so i feel like you've been through that and now you it's giving me some of you could have a debilitated moon moon in scorpio okay so you experience that now you've recycled because scorpio is also recycling transformation right so now you're fresh again you're open um your heart is open again and it's also more scorpio energy in the sense that you know someone on a deep level that's scorpio energy not surface energy right so i feel like by the way some of you could have these placements like moon 
I have moon energy here. This could be Aquarius. This could be Aries. Okay, sun in 10th house. I spoke about uh, Scorpio also. So you could have those placements. And obviously, we have uh, Taurus energy here, Leo energy. Then Mars, Sun, Venus, these conjunctions. So keep that in mind. You can also pay attention to the numbers. Though those could also be significant. But am I seeing here repeating two? I'm seeing a lot of two. And Moon is also number two. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. But yeah, uh, overall... How do people view you, pile number three? They see that it's a big major transition period for you. You are making some sort of major decision. And uh, there's a lot of potential. I'm seeing potential with this pile. And it's also kind of like pile number two was the person had decided, made some changes, and now they're moving towards this energy. Whereas pile number three is more so about at the time period of making the, the decision so you're looking at all of your options and then you're deciding so major event major divine timing happening in your life pile number three and this is a crucial time take your decisions wisely look for some advice from people who are close to you who have uh, your good at heart you know who want the best for you and uh, yeah have fun be optimistic about the changes you're making and change change is the only constant okay so let me know how this resonates with you. Uh, it was more so about current energy instead of just how people view you in general. So yeah, this is what I'm seeing for you. Let me know how did you like it. And uh, any other video suggestions, you can let me know. Leave your comments in the comment section. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. Click on the join button. If you want to book a reading with me and you want the reading soon, um, you should book right away because uh, this is the last chance if you want the reading in this month. After that, I'm going to have to be taking bookings for the next month. It's going to take a little bit longer for me to uh, deliver the readings. Um, so yeah, just wanted to let you know. Uh, all the links will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.